Hi, in this video I'm going to help you avoid a specific error that people make when they're calculating the mode. So we've got this graph here, on this diagram, 125 students were asked the question, uh, they answered the question, what's your favourite subject? Um, so the options were English, math, music and science, or at least those were the options that people chose. Um, so we've got those four subjects and we've got the number of people. And the question is what's the mode of this data set? So I want you to look at this for a second and just think about it, I'll pause for a minute. Now, if you answer 20, that's not right. So that's the common error that people will make. Um, so the answer is not 20. And the reason that a person would think 20 is they'd say, well, there are two answers that have 20 people. Um, there are, is one answer with 35 and one answer with 50. So 20 seems like the most common. Um, but actually, it isn't. Um, because 20 is the most common frequency, it has the most number, uh, there are two subjects with 20 people answering that, but that's actually not what we mean when we're asking about the mode of this. So the mode is the most common response. So when we, if we just made a list of responses instead of representing them in this kind of graph, we'd have English listed 20 times, we'd have math listed 50 times, music listed 35 times, and science listed 20 times. So the question is, when we ask for the mode, the question is which of those responses is the most common? Um, and so it's math, because math, 50 different people said math. So let's write this down, the answer is not 20. The mode is math. Now it may come to you as, for, as a surprise that the mode can be um, a, like a word, a category, instead of a number. That's not true of the mean and the median. You can't um, take the mean and the median of uh, you know favorite subjects, but you can do it for the mode. So just be really clear, if careful, if you're finding um, the mean or median and mode of something where you're getting the data from a table or like a chart instead of a list, really think carefully about what it means. So again, there were 50 different students who listed math, and that was more than any of the other answers. So that is the most common or most frequent response. Okay, good luck.